So in this video, we're going to be talking about what the cyclical tamogram or cyclical tamometry of a resistor looks like. And so if you just hook up, you know, any old resistor into a potentiostat, well, that follows the formula of Ohm's law, right? V equals IR, R is the value, the resistance value of the resistor, I is current, and B is the voltage. So if you do a CV of that, um, where you're cycling between voltage and uh, measuring the current, you are simply going to get a straight line, okay? And um, this, the slope of that line is going to go, uh, sorry, the intercept of that line is going to go through zero because this equation doesn't have any intercept, right? So if we wanted to think about negative voltages and negative current, that's how it would look like. Very simple, but this is uh, quite a useful thing to keep in mind because a lot of times your CVs will look resistive, which just means they have some resistor-like component to them. And so if you think about how a normal cyclic voltammogram might look like, like a typical duct shape, you might get something like that, right? But if you have a resistive CV, it will look like a combination of uh, a line and a CV on top of it. And so you'll get a very slanted looking CV in an extreme case, it might look like this. Right? Where there's some duck-like features, but there's this resistive line on top of it. So if you have a resistive CV, it tells you that uh, something is wrong, most likely. Uh, you don't want this for, for most experiments. And this resistance could be coming from poor electrical connection within your cell. You know, you got some rusty alligator clips or something like that. Or it could be that the electrode yourself itself is not very conductive. And so your working electrode might uh, have some material that you put on it that isn't good at conducting electricity. And so you have this resistive component on top of it.